Okay, so this is the new system. I added, I added this on here, and then this is the new the this is the new valve. This is the old system, but I put a new valve in here. And now I have a main valve here that turns all of that off at one time. And then I have a faucet here, the faucet that I took off from the top of the well is going to be gone. I put a new uh, stainless steel pipe. This is the new tank. Yeah, I do think I'm in it's, uh, it's a big tank. And then this is the old pump that came out of the ground just now. And it's very, very rusty and corroded. Or some kind of a, I don't know what this buildup is right here. These are the guides that keep everything inside of the well. Nobody showed me what, there's nobody on, on YouTube that has any, any kind of instructions on how to do this. At least I didn't see any, maybe I was searching wrong. So every five feet you wanna put some electric tape and when you're putting the new, new electric line. You should always replace the electric line every time you change the pump. It's just too easy to just replace the, the line. This is the, uh, the tubing, tubing for the, uh, the water goes through it and it goes all the way to the top. These are the guides again that hold it in the middle of the... of the well. There's some excess wire here. That's good. And then that's how this cap is right here. All good. So the trick is you only take these bolts off one quarter turn because if you take them more than a quarter turn then this could fall down depending on what you got holding it. In my case, it, it's not falling down. Uh, maybe I did lose some nuts. See, there's a nut that's missing here and here. So when I took them off, what, what the purpose of these bolts are is to compress this rubber. It expands into the hole of the well. And when it does that, it holds it shut tight so when you take these bolts off you only take them a quarter turn just enough for this to decompress from against the sides of the well and then you're able to lift this up without losing the the nuts so i lost the nuts inside of the well i hope that we're going to be okay with that all righty there's the top of our deal here but we're not going to have a faucet anymore here, I'm just gonna, cause I'm getting rid of all the galvanized stuff. This, this gets it really corroded. So that's how far it is. Supposedly it's 185 feet. It looks like about 120 feet to me.